Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to uh, discuss about a syllabus and important uh, uh, this books for GET MT 2023. So for metallurgical engineering. So uh, this GET MT syllabus uh, is divided into these uh, seven parts. So first one is uh, engineering, mathematics, physical metallurgy, metallurgical thermodynamics, transport phenomena and rate processes, mineral processing and extractive metallurgy, manufacturing processes. and mechanical metallurgy so these are the seven uh, um, parts which divided this uh, kit mt syllabus so we'll start with the metallurgical thermodynamics so this is the first one we are going to discuss about so the syllabus of metallurgical thermodynamics are like this it is start with the law of thermodynamics first law uh, second law enthalpy gives free energy maxwell relation so this is important for uh, gate point of view then chemical potential application to metallurgical system a solution ideal and regular solution gibbs phase rule this is also important for uh, this a uh, gate point of view phase equilibria binary phase diagram and lever rule free energy versus composition diagram equilibrium constant activity ellingham and phase stability diagram this is also one important one then we have thermodynamics of point defect surface and interfaces adsorption and segregation phenomena then the second one is electrochemistry which includes single uh, electrode potential electrochemical cells nust equation this is also important for a numerical point of view and then potential ph diagram this is also known as pore back diagram <coughs> so this what are the important uh, books for thermodynamics metallurgical thermodynamics so this is a textbook of met, uh, materials and metallurgical thermodynamics by ahindra ghosh so this is one of the important books for Uh, this a uh, theory and numerical point of view and only for this uh, numerical metallurgical thermodynamics kinetics and numericals by dr s k datta so this is one of the important for a uh, numerical point of view if you uh, if you are uh, uh, if you wanted to to get more practice of numericals so this book you should follow then the third book is most important uh, this one most important is introduction to thermodynamics of material by david r gaskell so this is uh, uh, if you want to go uh, more uh, in depth a uh, discussion of each topic so this book you should follow now we'll come to the uh, second part which is transport phenomena and rate processes so the syllabus of transport phenomena and rate processes includes a momentum transfer which consists of concept of viscosity cell balances bernoulli equation mechanical energy balance equation flow past plane surfaces and through pipes then you have second one most important heat transfer which include conduction convection and radiation so this is one of the most important topic of this part uh, transport phenomena and rate processes in which you will definitely include one or two numerical problems you will get then you have mass transfer dimensional analysis and basic law of chemical kinetics which include first order uh, this reaction uh, reaction rate constant arrhenius relation heterogeneous reaction oxidation kinetics and then you have electrochemical kinetics which include polarization so what are the important books in this part so you have transport phenomena by r van bird and another one is for this springer publication transport phenomena in materials processing so these are the two important books and another one is also by uh dr b raghavan so you can follow these three books for uh this part now we'll come to the third part of the gate syllabus which is mineral processing and extractive metallurgy so uh, this uh, uh, the syllabus of mineral processing and extractive metallurgy includes a combination technique size classification flotation gravity and other methods of mineral beneficiation uh, agglomeration like sintering pelletizing briquetting and uh, then a material and energy balance in metallurgical processes principle and process for the extraction of non ferrous metal like aluminum copper and titanium so they have include only three non ferrous alloy uh, in this syllabus then you have iron and steel making which is uh, 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 this uh, which consist of uh, this material and heat balance in blast furnace structure and property of slags and molten salts basicity of slag sulfide and phosphate capacity of slag production of metallurgical coke other method of iron making like corex and midrex then you have primary steel making which is uh, this like uh, basic oxygen furnace process dynamics oxidation reaction and then electric arc furnace so it includes both processes like basic oxygen furnace and electric arc furnace then you have secondary steel making process like ladle process uh, deoxidation argon steering desulfurization inclusion shape control principle of degassing methods 
and then basics of stainless steel manufacturing so this is very important uh, part here uh, which definitely constitute more than four uh, this numerical problem so you should focus on uh, this uh, mass and heat balance in blast furnace as well as in other metallurgical processes so the important books for this uh, uh, part is like iron making and steel making theory and practice by ahindra ghosh and another important is in, in an introduction to modern steel making and modern iron making by dr r s tukkari so these three books you should follow for uh, extractive metallurgy so for uh, for a uh, ferrous metallurgy and for non ferrous you should follow uh, this book extraction of non ferrous metal by h s ray and another book if you are interested in alternate methods of iron making uh, specifically so in this you can follow this book by professor uh, sujoy kumar uh, datta and for mineral beneficiation you can follow this book by b a wills mineral processing and technology so these are the uh, uh, six book for uh, this part of the syllabus now come to the fourth one which is physical metallurgy so the syllabus for physical metallurgy is includes like chemical bonding crystal imp uh, imperfection uh, diffusion in solids phase transformation solid state transformation and then uh, it includes heat treatment so in this you can get a numerical problem like uh, the topic like x ray diffraction you will get one numerical another one you can get it from this homogeneous and heterogeneous uh, nucleus and one numerical problem you will definitely get it and some objective type question also you will get it from this heat treatment of steel ttt diagram cct diagram and also recovery recrystallization grain growth so these are the important topics for this physical metallurgy now the important books for physical metallurgy so this is one of the important book introduction to physical metallurgy by owner and another one is physical metallurgy principle and practice by b raghavan another one is physical metallurgy principle by reed hill so these are the three important books and then you have a physical metallurgy by uh, bijender singh so if you are interested in a more in depth uh, this uh, details of heat treatment so this will be uh, this will be a uh, very useful and for basic uh, uh, this material science this book by uh, william d uh, d this kailister so this book is for a basic material science course now i'll come to the uh, this one the next part is mechanical metallurgy so uh, the syllabus for mechanical metallurgy includes strain tensor and stress tensor representation of mohr uh, mohr circuit so this is important so you will get one numerical problem with this topic elasticity stiffness compliance tensor yield criteria plastic deformation by slip and tuning so one objective question you will definitely get it from this uh, plastic deformation by slip and tuning then you have a dislocation theory edge dislocation screw dislocation mixed dislocation source of uh, source and multiplication of dislocation stress field around dislocation partial dislocation dislocation in traction and reactions and then you have a strengthening mechanism the most important topic which includes your four or five types of uh, strengthening mechanism like work or strain hardening strengthening due to grain boundaries solid solution strengthening precipitation strengthening and dispersion strengthening so one or two problem you will get it from Uh, this topic then you have a fracture behavior a griffith theory so this griffith theory you will get one numerical definitely with this griffith theory linear elastic fracture mechanics fracture of an spectrography ductile to brittle transition then you have a fatigue which includes cyclic stress strain behavior low and high cycle fatigue crack growth so this low and high cycle fatigue you will definitely get one problem with this and also with this cyclic stress strain behavior so it include like a peris law then mechanism of high temperature deformation and failure which include creep and stress structure stressing exponent and activation energy so the one and most important uh, book for this mechanical metallurgy is mechanical metallurgy by dieter uh, so only one book is recommended for this part of the syllabus now come to the sixth one that is manufacturing processes so the syllabus for manufacturing process include metal casting hot warm and cold working of metals metal joining which is like principle of soldering bridging welding welding metallurgy defects in welded joints and steels and aluminum alloys then we have a powder metallurgy and then final one is non destructive testing so books for uh, this manufacturing process so the uh, first and most important is manufacturing processes for engineering uh, materials by kalpejian so this is one of the important books in which you will get the Uh, information about casting 
uh, hot working warm working like rolling forging extrusion everything you will get it here and for a uh, building you can get it from this one uh, by uh, uh, professor asindo ko so this is a building metallurgy you will follow this book for information and for the non destructive uh, uh, testing you will follow one asm handbook non destructive evaluation and quality control so this will give you more uh, the information about all the uh, this uh, type of and uh, this testing like a uh, die penetrant and you have this uh, um, magnetic inspection and ultrasonic uh, this ultra sonic vision and you have another one like uh, radiography so all these kind of thing you will get it in this book so the next part is engineering mathematics so the syllabus for engineering mathematics is linear algebra calculus factorial calculus differential equation probability and statistics numerical methods so uh, uh, around 10 marks question you will get it in gate exam for this so and also you will get it a 15 marks from uh, aptitude so you have to focus for this 25 marks because this will leads your uh, this increase your uh, A chances to uh, getting under hundred ranks, under hundred ranks. So th uh, that's why you have to focus on these twenty five marks question. So what are the important books? So B S Grewal by high uh, this uh, higher energy higher engineering uh, mathematics by B S Grewal, then advanced engineering mathematics by Erwin, and and advanced engineering mathematics by H K Das. So these are the three important books you will follow for this uh, uh, engineering mathematics. so thanks for watching stay connected keep watching like share and subscribe our channel we will come up with the uh, more in depth uh, uh, this uh, discussion for each topic in upcoming videos thank you so much